Hey there, welcome again to Behind the Mic. <laughs> Stories from Behind the Mic. Right here at 99.1 PLR. Hey, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. You know, a lot of people ask me, uh, and I think now I want to talk more about a lot of positive things because, you know, things over the past year have been really crappy and stuff. So with this little feature that we're doing, I want it to be very, very upbeat uh, and very good. Now, I got to interview a lot of, a lot of great uh, heroes of mine uh, in the music world, and three that come to the top of mind that were probably some of the nicest guys I think I've ever met in my life uh, that I interviewed, and I'll start it off with Roger McGuinn. Roger McGuinn, for those who may not know him, uh, was the founding member of The Birds. Uh, he pretty much ushered in country rock uh, after he left The Birds, I think it was like uh, late 60s into the 70s. Uh, and he came up to interview, he was playing at Toad's Place. And again, all these people would play at Toad's and stop in, see me in the afternoon. And he would come up and he'd sit down, brings his 12-string guitar, and anybody who knows Roger McGuinn, he's got that, you know, that bird's voice. You know what I mean? Uh, turn, 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 Mr. Tambourine Man. He just, great guy. So every time I'd ask him a question, uh, he would respond uh, with song. All right, which was awesome. I still have that on tape, too. And he wrote a nice little passage to my oldest daughter, Margo. She was only about four then. And uh, he was just a sweet guy. So I'd ask him a question, and he'd answer it, and then go right into a song about... And it'll be, it wouldn't have to be a bird song. It could be anything. Uh, he was awesome. Uh, another guy I met who um, I really, really liked a lot. We had a very special time together because when I first met him, I was uh, at Toad's Place. And it was one of those nights where it was, I think, uh, over um, St. Patty's Day weekend. And I was four sheets to the wind and Warren Zevon was at Toad's. And I made such an ass of myself, which was obviously not the, the first time. <laughs> There's many times I've done that. We can talk about that later. Uh, but it wasn't until a couple of years after that, and this is about a year, two years before he died, he came to the station and I made amends with him. And he was so kind, so gentle. He was such a great, great guy. Uh, we sat, we talked. And he played Lawyers, Guns, and Money. Now, in the song Lawyers, Guns, and Money, there's a line that says, the shit is at the fan. And uh, before we went on the air to do it, he says, do you want me to edit that out? I go, no, Warren, you do that song the way you wrote it. And he did it. I have that on tape, too. I got to find it. But it's one of those interviews that I saved. He was a sweet guy. And then another guy who I really, really liked and who's still out there today is uh, Peter Frampton. He came up. He's a real English gentleman. He's a very, very nice guy. Uh, he, he was a little standoffish at first. He came into the studio, and I always had some interns around and people hanging around, and he very politely asked for those people to leave. <laughs> I was like, okay. But then when he closed the door and we started to talk, I really understood what he was trying to do. He wanted just to focus on me, and I focused on him, and we had a great, great interview. Uh, and he played that night uh, at the Palace Theater in, uh, in downtown New Haven. It was a great night, a great guy, and uh, just a couple of quick mentions, Meatloaf, uh, one of the nicest guys you'd ever want to meet, uh, Tommy Chong, another guy, and uh, that's all I can remember right now. I can remember some, uh, some, some bad guys, and I think we already talked about that. So coming up on the next episode, uh, which will be the next season, uh, we'll talk more about the different people that have come through the doors of WPLR.